Hey everybody, welcome back to Terror Report. I'm Clint Prentice, joined by Kyle Locke. That's Thank him you. doing some stuff. Uh, this is Outlast Whistleblower, episode 3. Please don't do that. <laughs> I have a windscreen, don't worry. It's, it's still annoying. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I love this part. I hate this part. Fog everywhere because and now you can't use night vision. Yeah, this is stupid. <laughs> you can't use the awesome night vision. Nope, you just gotta go through it blind. <laughs> just mm -hmm. waiting for Slenderman. Yeah. It was really interesting. Um, I was uh. Or actually, someone else brought this to my attention. Marv uh, from Marvy Pan, his his own channel on YouTube. But uh, on Twitter, uh, I guess the one of the what 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 <laughs> what what the game's trolling you, dude. You totally just got trolled. I love that. <laughs> but anyway, um. One of the developers from uh, Slender the Arrival tweeted out that he was kind of disappointed that uh, Red Barrels charged money for this DLC, um, saying that he was kind of upset to see that the indie scene was now kind of going the same route as AAA by saying that DLC should be paid for. Mm -hmm. And then he was like, you know, Slender the Arrival has a new update coming out, which increases the game by like 50%. And Wait, 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 be quiet. Okay, you can keep going. Uh, but I guess there's going to be an update for Slender the Arrival. It, inc it, it cr increases the game by like 50% or so, and they're going to be offering it for free for anybody who, who bought the game. And uh, so he was just kind of upset that like they charged like $9 or something like that for this DLC. $9, yeah. And I was, I was like, I, I see what you're saying, but I don't know. I kind of, I, I felt, I personally felt that the nine dollars was more than worth it for this DLC because it's really, really well done. Um, but I actually tweeted at him. I'm like, you know, uh, something I would think would be kind of cool would be like, uh, kind of like a humble bundle situation where you can pay for the DLC if you want and like pay however much you want. Mm -hmm. um, maybe even have it as something that's an aside, like after you beat the game, or if you get the DLC and then you play it. And then maybe something, and it's like, did you really, did you enjoy this? If you did, we'd appreciate a donation or something like that to, mm -hmm. to support further development. I don't know what you think about that, but um, I just thought that was kind of an yeah, interesting that, thing that he's just kind of brought that up like that. I, I think that what you just said is a pretty good way of, of handling it if you don't want to charge for it. Right. He actually tweeted back, he's like, that's a really interesting idea. So, who knows? You might see that in the future from uh, Blue Isle Studios. And then you can blame Kyle for all that <laughs> you money grabbing. Me. <laughs> you can blame me for you donating your money if you want to. Because I've always felt like, especially like, for example, like free-to-play games, I've always felt like there's free-to-play games and they obviously have things that you can buy, purchase in the game or in-game app or in-game purchases. And I've always felt like, if I really enjoy a game, I will purchase some of those in-game things to show my support, you know, and I'll usually purchase how much I think the game is worth. Mm -hmm. So I feel like that's kind of a, a way to do it with that model with DLC. Yeah. Cause you should always, you should always support the developer with how much money you think, you know, particular game or DLC deserves to be paid for. I agree. Yeah. Looking up isn't going to help you this time around. Looking uh, go down? back where you came from. Okay. Remember that that uh, gate? Uh, there was like those those stairs, and there was one gate that was closed. It should be open now. Yeah, just across the way from here. Yep. All right. Oh, I think God. he's fine. He's fine. Are you sure? Yeah, I'm, I'm sure he's fine. He's just he's just napping. He just he just sleeps with his eyes open. That's that's something that happens. Don't worry. Okay. Yeah, he he's fine. If you say so. I do. What? 
He's playing basketball in here or something. There is somebody playing basketball, yeah. Yeah, no, I saw him earlier. Yeah. That guy's fine, too. Don't worry. Are you sure? Yeah. That's just how he likes to sleep. Okay. <laughs> he has a really hard time finding some place to sleep all you know. That dude totally just dropped that. What? What? Oh. Oh, God. <laughs> I think uh, of all of the jump scares in the game, that's the that's the least effective one. Sure. Nobody seems to have been gotten by that, really. Like, it's more the sound cue than him popping up like that. Yeah. I think that's probably the, uh, yeah, that's the one that just doesn't work. All the rest of them are pretty good. I think that there, there was something that could have been done uh, or can still be done with something appearing in this fog. Right. Just out of nowhere. Right. I think that would be really effective, at least for me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the fog effect is definitely... I, I really do like the addition of the fog effect. Because it's like... It's kind of dark, but you can't use your night vision. Mm -hmm. and you're kind of screwed. What's that... Okay. Okay. <laughs> you remember them? No, but okay. You don't remember the the cannibal twins from the first one? Oh, them. That's them. I yep, wasn't back. I didn't really see them. Like I oh, just Oh, so you should know them. by kind of their their voices are kind of unique. <laughs> okay, want to go now. <laughs> Got to get out. Play on Jungle Gym. Yay! Happy day. Alright, there was no press X, but uh, that door could open. Oh. Kyle, you lied to me. Maybe you just didn't wait long enough. They've for all the been... queue to come up. Okay! You s <laughs> that That's exactly what I thought... That's exactly yeah. what I wanted! <laughs> and it's exactly what I don't want now! Hey okay. guys, how's it going? Hey guys. All right. Well, might as well get this over with. Dun, 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 dun. Dong. Uh, 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 uh. Dun, 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 dun. <laughs> Go! No! <laughs> I deserve that. I got too close. Yeah, you you did. You should have gone through that door on the left. Yeah, I know. Yeah. Don't worry, you get to do it again. Okay. Yeah, let's let's sprint. Let's get those get those muscles working. Yeah. You need them. See, still no prompt. Hmm. No prompt. Glitch. No prompt. Glitch. Maybe it's a fog thing. Maybe. Maybe the fog. <laughs> nice moves. I'm super good. <laughs> That's somebody's head. <laughs> There's that guy playing basketball. With somebody's head. Nope, not uh, a spoil. You yeah, you don't want him to touch you. He'll rip off my head. Exactly. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, get out of there. Get out of there. Go, go, go. Something at the top of the ladder and... No. No, this isn't fear. <laughs> <laughs> I will say, I do expect stuff like that now because of fear, like going up ladders or when you do a thing where you like climb up and your character purposefully looks down before they look up. Yeah. Anything where that kind of thing happens, I always expect like when I look up, there's going to be something in my face. Kurt, we've got another one, and I'm not sure you're going to be able to check it off as a psycho, psycho, psychopathic proximity disorder. Security guard all the way up in admin block is our latest non-patient employee to start seeing Warnicky's fairy tales, blah, 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 stuff. So, Red Barrels, if you are ever looking for a narrator, you know that Clint is uh, 
I will Great end. Job. I will. I will end all of them with blah 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 stuff. <laughs> I could also say oh, it man. in the voice of the dude. Oh, God. Ah! <laughs> God, you let him get really close to your face. He just kind of clipped through me. He <laughs> did. Now I just want to hear like Morgan Freeman narrate something and then go blah 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 at the end of it. Stuff. <laughs> Stuff. I wonder if you can, like, I wonder if Morgan Freeman has a way that you can, like, pay him to, like, do audio things for you. Like, if I want to get a text message tone that's just Morgan Freeman saying you have a text or something. Well, uh, John St. John will do it for you. Yeah, I know. You will. They'll tell you it's science. Can I just I toss him over the, toss him over the ledge. Were toss. For us. <laughs> Man, you're a You're wimp. Always being here. There should be a battery in this room. No prompt. No, no battery. Hmm. <laughs> Just naked people running. <laughs> <laughs> hey, man. When you want to be free, you want to be free. Look that at those, those 15 frames a second shadows in there. Yeah, yeah, I noticed that too. That Ooh. is, like, the amount of... That that really, uh... That took me out of the game, I have to say. I don't know... I, I don't know why, of all things, that had to be like that, but whatever. Oh. Great. Did I like? Jeez, I, th I think you've glitched the game. Turn off prompts or so show prompts? Huh? Weird. It's just my okay. natural ability <laughs> to glitch games. Yeah. 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 Yep. Yeah, you do that quite often. Oh, there's a the radio. I'm gonna press yes. this. Yeah, there should have been a prompt there. So yeah, I don't know, something happened with your game. Um, there's something going, there's a suit, there's a man in a suit, he wants to destroy- You could have- There's an easier way to do that, bro. <laughs> he's, he's angry. You don't think logically when you're angry. You see, you know he's, he means business because he took off his tie. Exactly. Oh shit. Why didn't you just do it? Why didn't... Alright. Because. You'll see why. I just realized something. Um, <laughs> my camera feed is covering up the battery indicator. Oh yeah, that's fine. Uh, well, that's not good. What if that was suit guy? Um. Remember him? Yeah. That's big guy. He's back. And there's nothing you can do about it because uh, he gets killed in the original game. So all you can do is run. Oh Get god! Here, oh Get god! Here. How did I? No! Get out of there! Don't close doors behind you. Just run. Oh, get through that! Get through that! He can't follow you through there. <laughs> he already gave up. He's just like, ah, fuck. He's graceful, though. That's for sure. For such a big guy, he's got uh, some. Uh, oh, got moves. some. Ooh. Streaming in some stuff here. They're all fine. Don't worry. Are you sure? They're just taking. They're just taking. It, it's uh, nap time. But there's there's these puddles of red stuff. Let's well, let's just catch up. They had snack time before uh, before nap time. That's a lot of catch up. It is a lot of catch up. They uh. What were they eating? You know, cheeseburgers. There's probably a food fight too. You never know. Wait, this is from the beginning. This is from the original Outlast, yeah. And if you notice, that character right there is the priest from the original game, too. 
Hi! Mm -hmm. So now you know that the guy wasn't really a priest and he was just another crazed inmate. Oh, Pretty I already knew that. Priest. Well, yeah, I mean, but now it's solidified. Oh. Uh, can I just go through there and get out? Follow the blood, Clint. Down the oh. hole. Yep. I really do like the references to the original. Like it, it's it's nice, and you get to play through some of the same areas here and there, but not so many that you feel like it's completely recycled. Yeah. I don't want to read about dead babies and profits on them. But they're not real dead babies. Yeah, but the concept of a dead baby is still a dead baby. I mean, it leaves a lot of room for dead baby jokes. No. <laughs> See, now you know why that door was closed. Yep. In the original game. And so, in this room, there must be like ten batteries, and I only leave one for... <laughs> for Miles Upshore. Yeah. Nope, took it. <laughs> took the one. <laughs> That'd be funny if you go back and play the original and there's no battery there. It's like, what? <laughs> but Why there is was. No battery? I thought. I could have sworn. <laughs> Alright. So let's see here. There's something behind me! Yep. <laughs> I love how all you need is the audio cue. And by the way, it's a big guy who's behind you. Fun. I'm yep. having a blast. Yep. Ah, oh, shit. Window. Whoa, oh, window. Whew. It's alright. I, I missed that my when I played through it, so. Take that, guy. <laughs> you fat to get through the window. Haha. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Try exercise. Well, who? Why? Well, I can't. Can't really. <laughs> <laughs> like, yeah. <laughs> You're not exactly one to talk, Clint. No. <laughs> I want to see that again. I can clearly open the door, something, but I don't something is pushing want it closed. To. I don't want you in here. No, no all right, right, get out! Come on, man, just get out of here! I just need you gone. Turn around, he's right behind me. No, okay. <laughs> oh, that's why. Oh, battery. Man, you were just finding all of the batteries. I'm good at it. I never, I never went in this area. <laughs> all right. Now you can open it. Yay! And now it's not foggy anymore. Nope, not foggy at all. I could have sworn I heard a guy on my left. <laughs> yeah. Like I said, sound design in this is pretty good. I mean, I know go to the light because that's probably where I'm going, but fuck. Actually, uh, that's to the next area, but you need to do something first before you can get through that. Hey, uh, the props are back. Yay! <laughs> That's good. Oh look, light. Just through there. Climb up in here. Didn't seem like I could fit through that very easily. Yeah. But okay. Yeah. I I kind of contemplated when I first saw that. I'm like, really? Is that where I'm supposed to go? Can I go through that? Okay. I guess I can. You must be a pretty thin dude, or yeah. just. Super short. I don't know. No, just like really good at crouching. <laughs> well, that too. The Olympic gymnast of crouches. All right. Now that door's open. So yeah, you want to go through that door? There's no, a... I fucking don't, man. There's a document in there, I believe. Batteries? Batteries? Mine? Uh, Mr. Mine? Mr. Duracell? Mr. Duracell. 
Energizer for the win. This isn't Alan Wake. <laughs> Obviously, if I touch this, I die. Yep. Well, you don't die, you just get hurt. Get electrocuted. Because i got to turn off the power first. Exactly. How do I do that? I don't know. Let's find out. Together. In Press the next episode. The B button and... It... Oh, do you think it's time? I have no idea. <laughs> hey, look, another battery. Jesus Christ. See, Kyle, you just gotta look around. Sorry, I was a little too busy being scared out of my wits. I am tense, I will say that. It may not sound it, but I am feeling pretty tense. Oh, this part. That made me a little frightened inside. No, no. It's just this this uh, door on the right that you're going to go up against. Go take a good, good hard look in there. Yep. Come on. Mm -hmm. That's that's happening. That's happening. Dude, uh, dude certainly has some uh, some endurance. Come on. I hear if you wait here for two hours, he finally. Comes. <laughs> <laughs> you get an achievement for it. Okay. Shocker. This isn't Spider-Man. Yep, just keep keep going at it. Excuse me, sir. <laughs> yeah, <I'm the> daddy. <laughs> sir. <laughs> Excuse me. Excuse me. <laughs> Have you heard the word of God? <laughs> <laughs> There's a priest upstairs. He'd like to talk to you. So the power is off now. Yay! Now Enough. you don't won't get electrocuted. Something's gonna scare me. Nah. Run. Perfectly fine. <laughs> Make a break for it. Oh. Well, that's not good. Power just turned back on. Wait. Why would I? Where are you? <laughs> why are you going back? So power's back on, I guess you gotta go turn that back off again. Ah, uh, fine. Something's gonna scare me now. Nah. <laughs> <laughs> Just randomly, like, a demented clown comes out of nowhere. Starts following you. Bruh. Oh. Oh, is he... I guess he finished. Yep. That's not the way you finish, um... If that's how you're finishing people, you need to see a doctor um, as soon as possible. I'm just going to assume that that's what that is. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> just going to turn this off again, get scared. Mm hmm. God! <laughs> <laughs> Well, I mean, you predicted it correctly. Yeah, but it's still fucking scary. <laughs> yeah. I always think about like moments in, like that in a video game and like just the programming of it because obviously what happens is like you go to the the little mini cutscene thing and like the minute you click that, they just pop into the area. Like, <laughs> yeah. Did you play Infinite uh, Barrel at Sea? Yeah. Okay. Did I? I. That's right. I showed you the, uh, uh, the Sander Cohen thing. Yeah, I think you did. Yeah. Yeah. Um. There. That was a jump scare that that got to me pretty good. Yeah, that one was pretty good. I, the. Uh, the little the, sister uh, one at the beginning. Right. Yeah. Um, in the original Bioshock Infinite, I think we all know. The moment that. Mm -hmm. Yeah. 
terrifying. No! Something's in the water, Clint. You remember the water monster from Amnesia? I do! Yeah. That's why I shouted no! <laughs> Not the water monster, so. Although maybe that would be a pretty good call out if they did. Maybe they just threw a TV in there or something. And there's not really anybody in there. Exactly. Where to go now? That door looks good. Or not? I don't know. Uh, yeah, I think that's where you need to go eventually. <clears throat> that's where you need to get to. That. But I think you have to take the long way around. Yeah, there you go. Who made ah! that? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I think we're probably... What do you think about time right now? I don't. I have no idea, like... Yeah, let me... Let's go ahead and end one, because it's at an hour on this recorder clock, and we can just start at 101. Exactly. So That's thank you nice. for joining us. Uh, another episode of Terror Report. Thanks, Kyle. Dun, dun, dun. And stay tuned for more Terror Report.